Hey, shout out to you what's guys. Up, what's, what's up, up fellas? What's, what's up, fellas? What's up, fellas? What's up, fellas? Oh hey, man. Hey, I like that little introduction right there, man. That little Pat McAfee show had me going right there. I say this is wild. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, they could, the motherfuckers called me yesterday. I'm trying to I'm trying to get my some cigars and shit, and they hit me out of nowhere, hop on real quick, and I'm like, fuck. I, I pull over on the side, and I was like, all right. Let's do it. Hey, yeah, that Netflix the chill story almost got yeah. real. They almost tried to cut you off. I said, hold on, let them keep going with it. Right. <laughs> hey, are you guys on your phones? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. Can you, you know? can you can you turn them sideways? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No problem. No problem. Yeah, there you yeah, go. There you yeah. Go. There you go. Uh, there you go. So y'all know a little something. Y'all y'all sound a little bit more technical sound than the twins. That's for sure. We we we, we trying, man. We trying. we, we learn through trial and error, my guy. That's it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Hey, right. where are you guys at? Were you both in Florida? Yeah, you see it's sunny as hell in the background right now. I'm trying to fix the lighting for you. Hell that's yeah, nah, no, it's all good. Now, hey, you both you both went to Lakeland, didn't you? Yeah, that was you the best high school in Florida. Superstars. Coach, don't do that. Somebody hey. told me somebody told me Platt was the best school in Florida. Hey, you the two people. worst photos in the history. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, cause I, you know, I think we got more history than we even know. Cause, uh, so I was recruiting Lakeland, fuck Lakeland and Kathleen forever at that time. And so, uh, oh, cool. you remember the boat ride twins? Yeah, of course, of course. You know, you know, they played with me in Co in JUCO. They played in Compton College with me. They were my, they were my. One was my running back. One was my linebacker. Hey, and then, uh, yeah, then I had uh, I had Colston's uh, I had Colston's uh, little uh, his family with me too. Uh, he he was out of Kathleen. Uh, he played slot receiver for me at that time. This was back shit, 05, 06. Oh, man. We yeah, did a lot yeah. of beating on y'all, coach. I hate to tell you, man. The teams <laughs> you're saying. We just yeah, put yeah. a whooping on them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, hey, it is what it is. I was out here in Cali, you know. I was out here in Cali. Hey, I was out here. They got nothing to do with me. Hey, I was out here number one team in the nation. You know. Hey, you know, Florida like and Cali have been going back and forth. Back, you know. Florida Cali been going at it forever. Shit, remember, remember the Florida, are. remember the Florida Cali game when it first started and all that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. used to be big, real, real big. Yeah, man, they need, that they was need real to football. bring it back. They need to bring it back. Yeah, that was real football. You know they won't do it no more though, because these pussies will, will opt out. <laughs> yeah, you know the world ain't got soft on us, man. Yeah. It's hard to even look at some things nowadays. I just laugh at it now. Yeah, and I'm glad we brought that up, JB. And then not to pivot too much, but kind of stay on that on that track. You look, you look at today's era of football and the NIL era, and it's dope that players are getting paid. Don't get me wrong, but to JB's point, to me, it's led to a lot of like just different energy, a uh, different, uh, more of a softness around uh, college football, in my opinion, in terms of players sitting out, transferring seven times. When you guys look back at you know when you guys played in college at Florida, and you look at kind of how the college landscape is now. How do you guys view it today? Man, I think it's awesome, in my opinion. Uh, okay. I mean, the boys, they deserve to be paid, honestly. And yeah. And I, when I think about our time back in Florida, it was like if a guy wanted to transfer out and leave, he was he was give, given two options, probably the worst two options he could ever have. And I just felt like, man, no one really knew about what was going on behind doors back then. You know what I'm saying? Now when they see that it's wide open and they're letting guys transfer, it's like, man, this, this is what they prevented from years ago with guys' careers were, you know, dictated by some coach because he didn't like his his the way he worked or the, his attitude towards something you know what i'm saying so I, I just feel like it gives guys that were in those positions back in the day more opportunity and I, uh, what, it, what it does hurt is like the low recruit guys that are coming out of high school it right. affects them big time but outside of that i think in the college aspect and the semi-pro look of things i think uh it's awesome for the guys because you yeah. think about look at the guys that transfer out now like back in the day like guys were transferring out. i remember i think about cam newton right when Cam right. Newton tried to transfer out, he could have probably went anywhere in the country nowadays if it was the way it is now. Back in the day, he was stuck with so such a hard option that he had to go JUCO and he had to pick, you know, take a basically take a year off and chance getting injured or anything happening. And uh, I, it worked out for him. But, you know, those are one of the cases I look back where Cam, he was leaving Florida and he could have chose anywhere in the country to go to. You know what I'm saying? But that's a good point. That's a good. I, and I'm with you for the most part. I guess for me, it's just like some of these kids are transferring like seven times, though. And it's like, all right, at some point, yeah, you gotta, at some, you gotta some point, yeah, something. heck yeah, heck yeah. yeah. Once you transfer once or twice, it's like, come on now. Like at this point, it's out of control. So I do think that's how they can control it is by putting a year amount or amount of transfer time. But right. the whole to where a kid can transfer only to one college or two different colleges, that was just stupid back in the day. And it killed a lot of guys' careers, for, to be honest with you. 
Yeah, I, 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 I just missed. Uh, I missed paying under the table. The motherfuckers didn't know what we. Were doing. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 that, that yeah they still doing NIL. that. Yeah. That was the end. Yeah. That was the you. You played in the real NIL era, shit. Yeah. I, I, shit I, you know, I was like, damn. We just it's missed great. that boat, Coach. You see, they tried to put a hundred thousand dollars on me. I said, golly, boy. I said, yeah. I wish I'd have had that. They were, the Posse Twins would have showed that hundred thousand dollars for sure. <laughs> y'all would have made a lot of money if oh, NIL yeah. was going on when y'all was in Florida. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Them teams, yeah. come on, man. Oh yeah. Tebow would have hey, 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 had a private plane, uh, a Rolls oh, yeah. Royce before we knew what a Rolls Royce was. Like, let's be serious. Yeah, Tebow yeah. had it all. Hey, I, I've been telling these cats every day not to get. I'm like. These kids don't even know what the Rolls Royce is, but yet you're giving them the car keys to that motherfucker, and you see why we're having all these accidents, driving off the highway, mm -hmm. crazy shit. I'm like, man, you're giving these young kids that don't even know how to change, the, change their own brakes yet. Giving them the keys to this. Like, damn. I, I, I do believe in, man, buy your stuff nice stuff. You work super hard for it, but, man, some stuff, like, man, I don't have a Rolls Royce, and I played 11 years in the NFL. Damn. Now, if you're here, and I, trust me, me and Mike have made plenty, plenty enough money and saved very, very well. I just think some things are financially stupid, you know what I mean? Unless you're going to lease it or do things like that. But if you're buying them cars outright, just some things don't make sense. Yeah. 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 You know, it's crazy when you, you started talking about uh, these transfers and, and the way it's moving. Like, I sent Bailey a, a clip uh, yesterday or something like uh, the other day. California High School. There's been 17,000 uh, 17, transfers this, this season. Look at that man, shit. Man. That don't even make it real. That don't even make come sense. Come on, man. Like that's high school. Kids. That's high school. Like crazy. Come on, man. And I know yeah, it's kids like and that kids complain about getting recruited. Right. Like, man, you're switching schools every every other day. Like, man, how can a coach follow you? You know what I mean? So <laughs> that part there hurts the kid whenever they give them the opportunity to ch change so much, and especially in the same district or different districts. That there is a, the advantage they got to take a hold of. But man, I will say, like Mike was saying, like th some of them kids lose the opportunity in life of being able to take the next step because a coach holds them back, but not being not able to transfer like that. So it does. Yeah, it, it's, I a, mean, it's, a, it's a it's a bitter it's a bitter road to it. But yeah, yeah. yeah you got you got to think about like even even when we was in, in high school, like yeah, you know, there was guys that was probably behind us that were college guys, but they weren't going to beat us out. And so if they if they stuck behind us, they have zero chance to go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Because they ain't like, oh, well, we can vouch for them and say, hey, they were good players. They were our backup. So you should guys give them an opportunity. Like, it don't even work like that. So That's now real. with the whole landscape of the college shit, uh, aspect of it changing, kids shit in the high school level are going to transfer out a lot. Because just like we said, if you're a low recruit, you don't have a chance. So you got to go somewhere where they can make you a higher recruit where you can get your name out there, you know? Yeah. That's real. And, and the pushback I always give to JB on this show, we, we, we always go from a player and coach kind of perspective. Is that like coaches have been leaving they teams since the beginning? College, high school, whenever they get a better opportunity, they gone. And then yeah, really. now that the players got that freedom, it's like it's an issue. I'm yeah. like, well, and that's when we all we every every fucking week, me and JB, we get in an argument. He, well, the coaches aren't that. The coaches are 40 years old. They've been coaching for 10 plus years. I'm like, oh, cool, I respect that. But the players, the players earned it too. The players busted their ass, whether it's through high school, whether it's through the first year in college, whatever the case may be. If another team wants me and it's a better opportunity for me to grow. I earned that opportunity. And yeah, my coach is big. Coach is a big part of it, but it's 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 small. It's smaller than the player aspect. I give you a t football team full of no athletes, and you go show me how great of a coach he is. And I put you in full of athletes, and then you could be if you're a good coach, and you get it's magical. You know what I'm saying? So it, like, don't don't ever forget the player aspect of it. So that's why I always value the player higher than I than I hire uh, hey, value a coach. Hey, Jimmy's and right? Joe's, not X's and O's. It's yeah, always, just because I mean, we look. I mean, that. think about Bill Belichick. He's one of the greatest. I mean, he probably behind Mike Tomlin in my eyes, one of the greatest coaches of all time. You know what I'm saying? And like, you take away Tom Brady, shit, it don't look the same. It don't. It, the guys don't walk in the stadium fear the same. And I'm just telling you, yep. like. And, and only, only there, there's the issue that I have. Like Smitty just mentioned, like they've earned it. These motherfuckers ain't earned shit. Seventeen year old yeah. earn what? What does a seventeen year old earn? <laughs> but See, you, but, you earn, you nah. earn what somebody's willing to give you, though. Like if, if a motherfucker's nah, willing to give me a nah, hundred thousand nah, dollars, nah, 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 yeah. Nah, 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 honestly, I don't think they earned it. Anything after after that, like man, everything else is the groundwork you got to keep putting in. Even when we made it to the NFL. Like, man, yeah, it was an awesome feeling to get drafted, but, man, that was the road work. That was the first brick getting laid. It was so much work having to be put in after that. Like, so that's what it is the misconception sometimes that we get confused on a little bit, but you, yeah. you, you both got good points on that for sure. I, I, here's the thing. I, I don't think yeah, Smitty gets honestly, what I don't, I don't, I don't. Go ahead. Go ahead. My bad. But, yeah, like I was saying, no, I said, good. honestly, I don't think, like, the, the player – like, you have to have both of them, right? Like, the player yeah. aspect and the coach aspect. I'm not trying to downplay the coaching aspect of it, but am I saying right. that a 17-year-old kid, kid deserves millions of dollars? No, I'm not saying that. But at the end of the day, if somebody is making the money, then I think the player should get it. See what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, yeah no if, doubt. If, I, if the money's like, there I, for somebody, it should go to the, yeah. the kid that's actually putting in the work.
Instead yeah, of us getting I'm, a backpack I'm with, and three I'm shirts. With I'm with Pan. <laughs> right, right. I, I just, my, Some my good, glasses. My, yeah. Hey, hey, look, my homeboy, Ed O'Bannon, who my, my high school teammate, was the reason this all started back in the day, and, and he started this NIL thing. But So I'm with getting paid. I just think the way we went about it is open up Pandora's box to where these kids, there's a difference between what you're worth and what you've earned. And Smitty and I argue about that all the time. I think these 17-year-old kids are getting paid what people think they're worth. Like, like Nico got an eight million dollar bag to go to Tennessee. I coached Nico. His daddy was my tight end in JUCO, and a quarterback, West Coast uh, Uso Polynesian. And he can't, he goes out to Tennessee. He hadn't played yet in the, in the SEC. He goes into a bowl game. He didn't play all year. Goes in balls, and now they got him on the Heisman watch already. Right? What if this kid at eight? He's just turned eighteen. What if he goes out there and falls on his face? Knock on wood. And we paid him that money already based on what we think he's worth. But he really hasn't earned that money yet. But he, these kids are getting that money already, and I think it's ruining the the, the part of I, I can't. Get, get it, JB, it, JB it. this, this is what I, this, this is what I got to tell you. So JB, but, listen, this, this this is what it is. So when we when the whole NIL process started, right? When they say we're gonna start paying guys, it has zero to do with playing time. So we have to get that out of our head. It's name, image, likeness. So whether my kid yeah. plays one down for your team or not. You're yep. saying you're paying them not for playing time. You know what I'm saying? So it's about him bringing awareness to the yeah. school, right? So yep. we got to get out. Oh, what if a kid goes out there and doesn't? What if a kid goes out there and doesn't perform? Who cares? That's not what he's. That's yeah. not why he was brought there, and that's and, not why he's getting paid. And mm. that's my. That was that was the reason why I went on McAfee when I was on McAfee every week a couple of years ago, and I was like, look, this is why how I would have changed it different, and and this is what I mean. I'm all for it. the kids should be paid, but the problem is right now is that we still have a problem that we've. We squeeze out all the pace, and there's no way of getting that shit back in the tube. And in my oh, yeah. opinion, the way that we've done it, if I would, if we would have did it based on you two coming out of high school and you're both five star, they should pay you based on five star. If, if, if Smitty come out and Smitty's a four star, they should pay him on four star money because what's happening is right now, one percent of y'all are making millions. Only one. There's only one Caleb Williams, a Shador Sanders. A, let's be real. We know the truth. There's only three hundred. Everybody else out there is making three, five, six hundred dollars. Like it ain't, but, but it, me and me, Keith, but me and Keith were three stars, and there wasn't a lineman better than us in our eyes. See what I'm saying? Oh, so we would have fell in that bracket. We would have fell in that bracket where it was three yeah. stars, and we'd be like, "What the hell? Like we deserve to be, you know? Yeah, well, four yeah, stars, yeah, yeah four, whatever, whatever. <laughs> hey, whatever. hey, oh. and four star. And here's my point, though. Like if the original thing was what you just said, name, image, likeness. So the Pouncy Twins got to go into the student store and sell a million jerseys, for instance, to the student body and everybody that wants to order online, and they make that cheese from there. Or if Cadillac came over there and said, hey, dog, we, we're we going to give you two cars and, and, and a deal because you're going to represent, you're going to be the face yeah. of our Cadillac deal. To me, that's name is likeness. Now it's not that. It's pay to play. It's straight NFL. Like, I, yeah. I think we've ruined it. If it was NIL, I would be all, I, I think it would be better format. But right now we're just like, we're transferring out to, to chase a new NIL deal instead of getting motherfucked, getting molded as a young boy turned into a man. We don't have that no more, which I think trickling over to society. That's all I'm yeah. saying. That's why they have to do they have to control it more with this. Like, listen, once a kid comes, once you sign for your name, image, likeness, it shouldn't be hey, if I scored a hundred touchdowns this year, I get paid more. Like we did we didn't, it's not about playing time. You know what I'm saying? It's all about yeah. the name, yeah. image, likeness. So once they sign those, they gotta come in with, hey, you're a three or four year contract with this kid. Sign a four-year contract. There's no other incentives. There's no nothing because they're not going off playing time. Is that, you know what I'm saying? Now, if you go out on your own and you have your own marketing company where you get all these deals, like you said, Escalade, whatever, then that's on you. You know what I'm saying? It's not on the university, yeah. but that's how they can yeah. control it. They got to control this thing and, when they bring the kids. And Sean King comes on here, you know, Tampa Bay Buck and, 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 and uh, Florida Boy as well. He comes on here all, uh, twice, three times a week, and he was like, the problem is we're like – the kids get to transfer, get paid at two places, and then the school now is basically like, well, fuck, we recruited you for four years. You came over here for six months. You got cussed out by us one time, and then someone else reached out to your DMs and said, hey, I'll give you a bigger bag. And that's just creating a Pandora's box. Coaches do box the same about. thing, though. Coaches do the same thing. Coaches do the same yeah. thing. ADs, everybody does it. You know what I mean? The simple yeah. fact that it's been exposed now, it's kind of like, the best way to explain it, how it's been exposed to how the NFL is and the Green Bay Packers. The Green Bay Packers are owned by the state. You know what I mean? So they have yeah. to show their, their gains, their wins, everything that goes on to kind of expose some of the stuff the NFL has going on. You know what I mean? That's the same thing with college football. Like the, the now the simple fact that kids are getting paid so simple, uh, a lot of money at the beginning of their careers, people are like mind blown away from it. Like, like these ADs and these coaches weren't getting this and they live in these multi-million dollar homes uh, while these kids are living in uh, a dorm room stacked up together. You know what I mean? So like, that's why, that's why it's like funny and hilarious because the older crowd is like taking that, that approach of it, you know?
But uh, but they, 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 I, I don't know how they can fix that part. But I, what I will say they can do is a, a center part a, a, as far as like playing, as far as like if you win a, a hall of uh, a, a, what is it in, in college all American or you win yeah. a trophy as far as like the Remington or the, the Heisman, that stuff can be a incentivized in the in the contract as, as far as playing wise. But man, NIL is named is for, like Mike said, name, image, and likeness. Nothing else matters yeah. at that point. You know what I mean? They're trying hey, to blow hey, it up hey. and be like, oh, this kid transferred. Well, who cares? You you didn't you didn't do what you said to keep him there. You know what I mean? You, like you got to do the part of selling his jerseys or selling his images to the, the community around. You know. But they but can all invo- like, they can void those contracts too. If a kid transfers out, then they void them. You void yeah. the contract. That's how yeah, you, yeah. you do it. So I knew. Yeah, yeah. But if it's it, so, so what? From what I understand, talking to just my boys that coach at these power five levels, they're like, dude, this collective shit is like they're they're making deals without us because it's not legal for the college actually to actually make the deal. So it's collective. So the Pouncy Twins want to sponsor Smitty and I. It's an outside the deal, and then Urban Meyer finds out six days later that you all offered, you were offered, and he's like, wait, I don't, I don't even like the Pouncy Twins. Why are we offering them? And we already Man. offered him a bag. We already offered him a bag. That's like that's how this shit is working. It's JB, crazy. you know they lying to you. That'd be crazy as hell. You mean to tell me that the head coach of Florida don't know who the NIL right. people are saying? You know right. what I mean? Like right. that's what I'm saying. Like they, they no, might we act, know the act like they we don't know, but yeah, yeah, we know yeah, the yeah, NIL yeah, yeah, yeah. guys. You, know you, you and I, know, you and I know if it was Urban sure. Meyer, he would know everything. <laughs> 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 they don't know the collective. Like oh man, the collective paid this guy. We didn't like man. Come on, let's be serious. That that's just to appease the donors. You know what I mean? Right. That's exactly that's right. right. And that's why I'm, I'm like, come on, man. There ain't no real coach, no real, like, real, uh, you <laughs> yeah. know, alpha coach going to sit here and be hit, taking this collective all. So I got to rock the going to be an OJ scene. I'm going to get mine back. I'm going to get my memory. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying. Hey, that's what I'm saying. I'm like, no, I don't know. This collective shit's crazy, man. I, it's crazy. I don't know if it, I don't know if it, how to fix it, but it's going to be wild yeah. right here. I, I don't know. It's going to be crazy. And our high school kids are getting, being able to get paid. So that's the craziest yeah. part. They haven't happened in Florida yet, but I know in Texas for sure. You know them kids yeah, are able to I, uh, yeah, get paid wow. off their name, image, and likeness, but that, that's. Hey, I wanted to start. I wanted to start this interview off real quick because I've, 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 in the last like five weeks, I've lost like 27, 8 pounds. Everyone in the okay, in the JB. Team, everybody's been like, "How have they lost all this weight?" They made a oh, huge. Yeah. They made you go viral a few months ago on social <laughs> media, and they had you like, like how from the NFL to where where you are now. Is there something you just focused on mentally? You said, "Hey, man, I gotta, I, I can't blow up," and and I've I've seen too many of the homies go bigger after the the league, and and it became unhealthy. Is that is that number one on your mind, or how, what happened? No, nah, for us, the craziest part, bro. We was always the players, and I don't think people like kind of understand so that's kind of mind blowing to them. But we was always the players having to eat peanut butter jelly, protein shake, chugging yeah. water before weigh in. So like for us, yeah, we we heck yeah, we made a big commitment about changing our diet and the way and fasting and all that stuff. But man, it was a lot easier than what people think. You know what I mean? It wasn't like we were shedding off jelly rolls. You know what I mean? Like we were just. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> I mean, even even look at those pictures. You guys were never like. Fat, you you you, like, you you were strong and big, but you were never that big. You know what I'm saying? So like, it yeah. makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I do like I do like that the, the, we confuse the world. I'm like, man, you know what? We changed the model of losing weight. So if anyone wants to pay us for that, we'll, we'll, we'll take them off. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Hell we'll yeah. see you the plan. Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, you got. <laughs> hey, I want to plug something. You got the Pouncy Foundation going on right now, right? The yeah. uh, what are you doing? What are you doing with that? Before we hit you with some real questions. So it's going to be huge, bro. We uh, the, uh, the 26th and the 27th, the weekend, we have uh, the Tiger Town. We do a big uh, – first of all, we used to do a big-time football camp. But we kind of changed it ever since we get, got away from uh, playing in the NFL because it was so hard on a day-to-day basis. The man keep telling guys or reminding guys that, hey, the weekend's coming up. You know, get your, we're going to get your flights. Be ready. Set away your, uh, your travel plans to come down. So we end up making it a big community event to where we made it a car show. We, we have a flag football games that go on. We have uh, the community center where we have a big, all the slides, the water slides, and then we bring all the local vendors to, uh, to come in there. But it'll be a Tiger Town this year. We're doing a big golden ticket dinner for all like the big um, decision makers in Lakeland. But bro, bigger than anything, me and Mike have just been blessed enough to just get back. We don't we don't go around for a lot of sponsorship. I mean, our only real sponsorship was ever just Coca-Cola and our Publix, you know what I mean? Just being hometown kids, uh, we, we loved them to death. But um. But other than that, bro, everything was funny through me and Mike. We, we hated trying to go to people and, and try to beg them for things that we were trying to change in our communities. You know what I mean? Like, right. it, it doesn't cost that much to be able to get around kids and get around uh, community leaders and, and, and the police and, and, and people that truly make decisions and, and help a community out. You know what I mean? It just it takes time for sure. And it takes it takes uh, your, your, your family and friends to help out. But it doesn't take that much of your money. You know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. No doubt. No doubt. I love that, uh, man. That's, shout out to y'all. Before, That's dope. I, I know, know Smitty's gonna ask you some questions. I want to ask you guys, do you guys go by the Pouncy Twins? Do you like that shit? Are you <laughs> are you are you rather be individuals? Like you're individual men, like everyone's always said that. I, 
And we had to ask you. Oh, right. we, we, we as one, and I held. Yeah, people brand. thought me down here in Miami, I act like I'm Mike, because I hate them very much. Like, <laughs> a lot of Dolphins, though. I'm like, man, they're great, man. I can't wait to see them this year. It'll be tailgate. <laughs> <laughs> That's no, we're, we're a brand, bro. Everything we do to, is together. Our businesses that we own is everything's together. And like, even when we do podcasts or when we go on shows, it doesn't feel right when it's individual, like because we feed off each other. Like we've done this for so long. And the first time we was ever away from each other, I thought as a as a junior, I stayed all four years, and it was just that was the first time in our lives we ever been apart from each other. Man, that boy called me every day, all day. I'm telling him how the NFL, man, we ain't got school. Man, I'm done at practice at two. <laughs> that, boy, that boy went crazy, JB. <laughs> he was like, man, I can't wait to get there. Yeah, man. I didn't even get there second. I'm losing I my mind. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I would too. Yeah. Man, that's dope. Man, that's dope. man, going back, so going back to your time in Florida, I'm sure you guys seen it. Last year, they, they released a big well, documentary on Netflix about, about your guys' team. I'm yeah. assuming you guys seen it or at least heard about it. Do you guys feel like they depicted that team and that and that you know that or that time the right way? Because there was a lot of arguments online. People saying, "Nah, they didn't really show the real deal for the Gators." Yeah, it was too soft. It was it was too soft during that era in football and during that time. Everything was it was more it was it was more intense. It was more stuff going on. Like, like they, we, didn't show the, they didn't show the trouble part. Like, man, some of that stuff. Like, man, people gotta understand. You're so you put a whole bunch of young kids from poverty all together and, and then put them out at nightclubs and then give them a opportunity to go hang out with each other, man, things happen. You know what I mean? So they, yeah. they didn't show the missteps of all of us in which trust me, all of us wish we can go back and change some of the, the, the things we did and the way we, the way we grew up, but man, them things there have to be explained because man, we're, we're proud that we changed for them things. You know what I mean? So some of that stuff wasn't able to that. And I think Netflix, well, uh, did, uh, was more like mad that like some of us didn't agree to do it. You know what I mean? Cam, Cam Newton came to all of us and he had his own production and we tried to get everyone to do it. And I guess like some of like the, the, the bigger people, you know, they went to the school, like Coach Meyer and uh, I think Tebow them had made a commitment to Netflix. Mm. So then uh, it kind of like broke apart, like some of like the main guys that Percy wasn't in there hot, like the, the Pouncey Twins, Murphy, uh, um, like some of the main guys. Steve like, Adazio, like, Yes, Charlie Coach Adazio, Strong. like how, how don't, how ain't Steve Adazio in there? Like, man, body man Adazio gave Strong. his feature, like Charlie Strong, like what do you mean? Like these people here were like state with Coach, Mayor, Mayor, Mayor Strong, like man, the people treated him like bigger than Coach Meyer there. So like the simple fact that, some of them people went involved in the story just made it a little weird, but uh, people don't realize what Charlie was as far as recruiter and a go getter. Oh, yeah. uh, I know, I know Charlie. Like he's, he's got us. Us. his yeah, wife from got, Lakeland. Got... His wife from Lakeland. He had us sold. Yeah. Like mm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> coach Strong, when I was young, when I was in high school, he was the first like college coach I ever actually met and shook his hand. At the time, he was at Louisville though. When I was uh, oh, yeah. I think I was sophomore in high school. I think I want to say 2013, 20. No, 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 no. 20, uh, 2009, 2010. I don't know. He was at Louisville. Maybe I was so though. happy for him. That boy yeah. called me talking about man yeah. pounds. I got a burger up here. Check this, man. They, the, what it was, the strong burger. I mean, I was, I was dying. Like, I say this, I can't believe it, bro. <laughs> when he was at Louisville, <laughs> the strong burger. Hey, yeah, we sure ate good. Uh, I, I'm on an unofficial visit. We ate good, boy. Yeah. No, yeah. Said, oh, that boy, yeah. I, I ain't going to lie to you. Coach Strong was always built like you could still play football. That was yeah. crazy. Yeah, three o'clock in the morning running laps. <laughs> yeah, not Michelle. Michelle. Hey, did they on that show? Did they? Did you think they went like as far as Aaron Hernandez tragedy and all that shit that happened? They were trying to focus on that part of it. You think, or 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 add I, that? I think in their there? Folk, I think their focus was to just clean up Coach Myers' image, just because you know, like he was a guy that yeah. honestly everyone in his mind was like, oh, this guy just let guys run wild and do everything, but he was just a guy full of second chances, like. His mm -hmm. thing was, man, these kids have no chance. Like, if you knew like, half the guys that got recruited to where, you know, he recruited from, they had zero chance. Like, so that for them to go up there and make a mistake, like by, say, getting a DUI or something, it's like, man, why ruin that guy's life when he knew the oppor the window opportunity was so small? You know what I'm saying? So I think Netflix did a good job of clearing up his image and, like, what he was all about. But we wanted to see the real story of what Florida, how we won a championship with so many animals on that football team. Like, how, how how do we keep it all together with so much trouble, so much stuff happening behind doors? Like how how that's hey. what the, that's what I think that's what the real world wanted to see. Yeah, that's true, Mike. Because even man, even even with Coach Meyer, like man, we love Coach Meyer to death, but like man, we didn't appreciate him enough until we left. Mm. I understand like how he was like treating like he was he was raising men. You know, what I mean, he all he wanted to do was the best to give you the best opportunity and for you to chase it, not for anyone else to build it, but for you personally go out there and be your best. You know what I mean? And that's what and that's what guys can understand us until you get to adult. 
All of us think we're adults when we're in college, bro. Listen, I wasn't an adult until I was down there halfway done with my career in the NFL. Let's be serious. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, mentally, you know what I mean? Like, well, how I was yep. hanging out, like, you know, hey. we was running around late at night. Like, it was just crazy. You know what I mean? So, like, hey, I'm only laughing because I, I tell Philly that shit every day on this show. Yep. I'm like, motherfucker, yeah. I quit saying you're adults at 18, motherfucker. You're not. You're not. <laughs> and I, so I, gotta, I gotta tell these motherfuckers, I'm like, dog. That's the reason I named my book Hate Me Now, Love Me Later. Because yeah. the kids tell me that Jermaine Johnson, uh, pro bowler, first rounder, oh, yeah. on, on that safe. show. Yeah, you know, he was on that show and was like, hey, look, I hated Coach JB on the field at practice, and he was <laughs> motherfucking me. But damn, I look back and he's like, that motherfucker <laughs> took care of me, my girlfriend, got my mama yeah. scholarship, yeah. Like everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Damn. yeah. Well, and I, and let me ask, I got a question I, I, I want to ask about Urban real quick. I've known Urban since he was at Bowling Green. We used to be, get on the board together. He was recruiting my Juco in Cali with me when I was coaching way back in 02, 03, 04. And then he goes to Utah and, and everything else. Uh, why did he fail in the NFL knowing that you coached, you played under him in college and then you played in the NFL? Why did he fail? Because we know college in the NFL is galaxies away. And I only had a cup of tea in the league. What it's galaxies apart, it's not planets, it's yeah. galaxies <laughs> for, for every other so, reason in, in the book. But why did he fail? You think name, name uh, me a coach yeah. in the last 10 20 years has been successful at the Jaguars? Yeah, that, that's another reason. I'm, but uh, I'm I can tell you, had an okay run, yeah. I mean, but 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 listen, though, what the real he reason had the best, is, though, he had the best is that, defense and all of all of football, too, at that point, too, right? I think yeah. he had a, the, the real reason I think, though, is honestly because the NFL is a player driven league, right? The players run the league, right? And so yeah. for my for you can't run it the same way you run college because college coaches are in so so much control. Like they control everything. The whole the working out, the way you act, the going to class. They're like basically they're your next step to get to where you want to be. You see what I'm saying? Like in the NFL, you're already there, right? There's guys getting paid millions and millions of dollars getting paid more than you. You can't treat them like a kid. And mm. Coach Myers way, Coach Myers way of, you know, he was he played he was like a psychologist in a way like a, he mm. was he played mind games like he was very like like that and you can't do that in the nfl because you're, you're talking to guys now that man i have four kids and a wife at home you know what i'm saying like you ain't finna go around and talk to him any kind of way and i think that was his only downfall because the way he was as a player coach you'd love him but as he was tough he, he gave you a chance after chance like he would do do he would give his shirt off his back for you but in the nfl guys don't give a fuck about that they care about a lot of different stuff. You know what I'm saying? They care about the way you run the program. They care about getting out of practice on time. They care about how you treat them in training camp. Like, that's like the part the that means a lot. Like mind games. Do not play yeah. mind games. Anybody can't, in with a grown man, like, it ain't going to work. You know what I'm saying? So it was like that. That was the only reason that it wasn't successful there. And, fuck you. I mean, you you're, 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 you're with a first-year quarterback. You were a lot name of different players there. Like, that's why I'm saying that. Like, man, name them, name them. I don't even know who his players were. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Shit, I, I would have kicked. I would have kicked the kicker in his ass. You know what I'm saying? Like, fuck. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that. Like, let's go find him. We go kick him in his ass. We just put that story out. Like, yeah. <laughs> right, right. That's the main thing. How the story get leaked? Like, come on, man. That's hilarious. Hey, you're uh, one of my boys. I grew up, at, you know, West Coaster that went that went out there. But he, I think, one, maybe you play with him in the league, not college. He's older than you guys. But uh, Max Starks, Florida Gator. Man, as well. that's my yeah. boy. Love yeah, yeah, that's my boy, man. That's Compton's finest right there. His, his little yeah. nephew just got fucking kid that I coached. Uh, Max, Max's sister's son, um, got shot in the fucking face, man, a couple weeks ago, uh, man. Uh, they just had a no funeral, and, yeah. And uh, I think you know, you know, big Trav too, right? Travis Johnson, yep, yep, yep. yep, uh, yep. Played at Florida State, played at Florida State. Uh, he's also from Compton. We grew up together as well. He, he younger than me too, but a little bit. But that was his like uncle, the kid that got shot. Him and Max are like Jesus this. Him and Max are like, this. yeah, it's fucked up. But I knew he. I know. Uh, plus, you know, we have the Timmy Norland uh, connection as well. So I know. Oh, yeah. I know we got some Timmy. Crazy Timmy, Timmy. Yeah, crazy Timmy. Uh, <laughs> no, nah, but uh, let me ask you real quick on that. Don't forget my back, boy, Coach know. Fred. You know, Coach Fred too from Alcorn. You know, oh, yeah. Polk County boy. Yeah, Coach Fred. That's family. Fred, that Fred, Fred, Fred texted me yesterday on the show. It was like, or two days ago. Was like, tell Jake to hit me up. I gotta, I gotta call him back. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no, no. <laughs> now, Fred, uh, man, we don't know Uncle Long Time. He's a great dude, man. Yeah, great. Oh, dude. yeah. Nah, no doubt. No doubt. Um, that's crazy. Hey, let me ask you something right now, just so you're outside looking in. And I know you're still connected because you're legendary guys from, from Florida as a Gator. What do you see right now with this current, uh, coaching staff and then and then what's going on there and and how do they get out of uh the funk they're in as far as getting back to what you know urban built there and, and what you know all the greats have done at florida before him 
I yeah, think I you got to so. give them time. I, honestly, like, man, when you come in there and you're trying to establish a, a, a you know, an organization like the University of Florida has been, it takes time to get recruits in there and the right, the right type of guys, especially where college football is headed towards right now. You know what I mean? So I think are you, are you fan? Are you fans of Napier? Yeah, hey, we're fans. Yeah, we, we love Napier. Napier. We love Napier. I like. I love how the coach, like, the university loves them. First of all, and his players loves, loves them. You know what I mean? Like it, this ain't anyone that never came out bad and said anything about Napier, even after they transferred schools. You know what I mean? Let me I, ask I you. Know. Back, you go to the University of Georgia. Now he still ain't came out and said nothing about Napier. So mm -hmm. that that alone just tells you that the uh, that the school that the school has great coaches there. You know what I mean? And the organization is al alone is just a staple there. So I think they just got to give them a, a little bit more time because the, the the coaching staff that we had in the past was coaches that came back and loved. Mullins was also absolutely one of our favorite coaches, but. Whenever you're coming back and you want to, and you're such established, like it's it's hard. Like Coach Nate Pierce is at a different grind in his life. You know what I mean? He, he's trying to find more success in his life right now, and I just feel like man, that's good for our university, especially with the recruiting class he got coming in. We still got the quarterback that just came back, and then DJ Lagway is going to be a game changer for UF. I honestly think that. Let me ask you something because I I did a viral video last year when there was a kid walking onto the field and slapped one of the young coaches' arms off of him and, and was like, "Hell, get off me, motherfucker!" And he went back in the game, and I was like. Billy, no. you gotta grab, you gotta grab that motherfucker. I said at this time, can is it a is it a knock on Napier for not doing that, or is it a knock on what the system has created in this landscape? Because if Napier does do that, does the motherfucker transfer now? No, you know I, what I'm saying? I, I, like, see, is that where we I, are? Is that what, yeah, I don't think so. I, I don't think so. I just think that, listen, we don't know what Napier told that kid after the game. We don't know the punishment he went yeah, through. We don't yeah. know any of that stuff. You know what I'm saying? And like a lot of the times in the heat of the moment, it's like, man, you avoid big, big situations that handle that you can handle behind closed doors. You know what I'm saying? Like he, he in that had, moment, great you had one of the there. biggest games of the year. You got one of your best players and that. And you know how magnified stuff gets. So, like, I think a lot of stuff, even probably with that kid, like he probably seeing that, watching it over and over and he probably hates it. Like it's a it's a bad look. And it would have been an even worse look for some one of them coaches to snap on them and them, you know what I'm saying? So, like, for me, I think, like, unless you're there full hands-on and you know the whole story, it's just, like, it's too hard to pass judgment on it because we've been there before. Like, we've been those guys that have been in situations where the whole world thinks it's one thing and it's it's a totally different thing when you know what the truth behind everything, you know what I'm saying? So, like, for us, I don't want to get a, I don't want to give a knock on the kid and I damn sure don't want to get a knock on Nate Pierre for not standing up, but... It's just a different day and time, man. Like a lot of those, like, that stuff's been happening. It's happened for years, bro. It's just that stuff right. has never been caught on camera. So yeah, the, the one time it gets caught on camera, it's like, why? Why do we, t you know, nail this guy to the cross for it? You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, I don't agree with that. The know? extreme left would have came out the Napier if he had to chase after that, that kid. Like, trust me, they had to ruin him, made him look like a bad guy. Like, no, yeah, even, so even with the Miles Garrett true, thing, man. even with the Miles Garrett thing, when yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. the helmet, right? Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. the helmet. You know, that's happened so many times before, and I've been there. I've been a guy that's done it before. Like, it's happened so much times, you just, the camera hasn't caught it, and it happens now, in practice, right? We're on about 25, 30 dudes in it. Exactly. Right, you know what I mean? So you just got to understand, like, you're playing in a, in a very, it's a combat sport, right? It's crazy. Yep. It's, it's very, hey. the most physical one. Sometimes you lose your mind. Hey, yep. I, I would have choked fuck the shit out of the kid, but it, it, that's me. But look, <laughs> after, 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 after shake lines, hey, keep it real. And shake lines, though, as a coach and, and, and protector of my babies, Keep your motherfucking hats on, because if a motherfucker swings that helmet and hits you in your head, oh, that, was number, that was that was that was that was that was street code one on one after a game, right? Like keep that yeah. shit on. If we get 100%. into it, because we but had just think about this though, JB. Think about this. We glorified in hockey, man. They the referees yeah, pause. Yeah. Everyone stands around like. They, they got, got the cameras right? on ice. They got so the cameras like, on ice. Follow them around. You get a close up. I say, boy, this can't. You see what I'm saying? So like, you yeah. see it in the NFL. Everybody's like, oh, God, suspend that guy. Uh, bad dude. Find him two hundred thousand dollars for throwing a punch. But like, shit, NHL, we're all like, man, punch him more. Keep hitting them. You know what I'm saying? It's like, hey, they, on, they, they train. They, they teach us how to fight. They lift the jersey, <laughs> get the jersey over his yeah. head, and then hit him on the top. Yeah. Of I'm like, right, right, right. It was people in the media, if y'all remember, was saying Miles should be arrested down there. I was like, what? Go to jail? Like, come on. Come on, like, and, and that's what, and that's why, as, as us as pros, we always, you know, you got to say the right thing, right? Because you know everyone's listening, and you're everyone's watching, right? But at the end of the day, it's like, bro, man, they they glorified in NHL, they they find us two hundred fifty thousand for throwing one punch in the NFL. It's like, what, what? It don't make any sense. But it's like you get, you can't go against the the, the league, right? Yeah, the yeah they got yeah. a policy in place. So yeah. hey, we got we got you, man. We got. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna try to. I want to see what we can do to get you guys on once a once a week, once a football. Nah, I love it. I love this. Yeah, uh, man, we, got, we got we got you for a couple minutes. Let me ask you guys, both of you, where do you expect the Chargers to be, and then what do you think, Marquise, about Mike Tomlin? I think Ooh. Mike Tomlin. Is top, I think Mike Tomlin's top three coach in the NFL. I think he's like top two in the NFL right now with behind Andy. Where where are you at with the Steelers still being above 500 his whole tenure? 
and where they are headed right now, especially with the double-headed QB situation with Justin and, 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 and Russell. And then uh, what do you think about the Chargers, uh, Mike, and what's going on there with, with uh, Harbaugh, Harbaugh. Harbaugh's hire? And listen, I think for Harbaugh, I think I think he's going to do amazing, right? He has a brother that's done it. He, ha- he has somebody that has a blueprint for him. And I, and I use my brother as an example, right? My first year when I came in the league, it was so easy for me because he had already told me everything to expect, right? And I think Harbaugh has seen other coaches, and he's done it at he's done it at the college level and and the NFL level. He's yeah. coming back now. When he was with the San Francisco 49ers, right? Amazing football team, right? Yeah. So now you're coming to a team where you got to build all that. But I think he's built a great staff. I think he's he's had the experience in the NFL and college level, and is and he knows that he's been out for a while, right? So his brother has been in it still for a while, so he knows exactly what's changed and what to expect. So. I think they're going to do great. Plus, he has a fucking one of the best quarterbacks in the league. This guy's yeah, going for 6,000 yards huge. every year. Hey, Harbaugh. Like, <laughs> but Harbaugh's, Harbaugh, he's just smart, right? He got a, he got another big-ass lineman in the, in the draft. They already had one big-ass left tackle. You know what I'm saying? Like, they built their they're building this behind the quarterback in that line. And I think their defense is amazing. Derwin James, Cole County, baby. Derwin James, you got Bosa, you got Khalil Mack. You got all these guys. Like, you just needed the right scheme and the right staff, right? Because that's big in the NFL. That's, you the right that's, that's the 70, 30, 60, 40, however you want to put it. You know, you yeah. the players and the staff. Like without the without the without the players, it ain't happening. But without the staff putting you in the right position, knowing yeah. what third down plays to call, knowing when to go to, to go at the right plays on the goal line, knowing defense to call, like football doesn't make sense. You yeah. can have all the best athletes in the world. If you don't have a great structure, it ain't gonna happen. 100 yeah. percent But to answer your question about Coach Tomlin, I will say, man, I played with a lot of coaches, and by far Coach Tomlin is the best coach I've ever been around. Mm-hmm. The way he handles himself, the way he prepares guys, like Man, we'll be sitting in meetings, and I'm just telling you right now, he'll be in there running everything on deep. I learned so much of just about play, about defensive uh, schemes and everything going on just here in his, uh, his, his Wednesday meetings. And he'll be in there coaching the, uh, the the offensive coordinator, not alone, not only the players, but the coaching staff too. He'll be on there, man. Screens work best on here. He'll be showing clips that work, and then we'll go in the game and don't do it, and then he'll bring it back up on Monday meeting, like, well, you probably should have ran this or did this or this. What I, you know, why didn't we do this? Why were we thinking this and situationally? But I will say, man, uh, the best leader of men I ever been around. The way, uh, the way I know on the field, he might look like one of these dudes that man just just screams and yells at you all the time. But like, man, he taught us how to be men. He know how to bring you in there and be super, super tough on you about holding yourself accountable, about about leadership, about family, all them things there, bro. He, the stories that he brought to us are just, are just tremendous. And I, I care, I, I still carry him around to my kids. You know what I mean? I still carry my the way I carry my life with some of the things he he you know instilled in my in, in my head over the times and the years being there. You know what I mean? And I, I, I'm, I always tell him, I always tell people, I'm beyond thankful that that, that that he was in my life because things could have went the other way, organizational wise, just how how things played itself out. You know what I mean? Because me and Mike did get in a little bit of trouble with knuckleheads a little bit. So and the, the way that the uh, the organization, and the coaches stood behind us, I can't, I don't think there are the, uh, it's a lot of players that can actually say that. You know what I mean? So we we I, I do uh, attest to that man. Me and Mike got a lot luckier than other people whenever the people that we had around us in our career path. But I will say the quarterback situation gonna be sticky this year. You know how that is, man. When you got a quarterback that's won a, a Super Bowl before, and then you got a young up and coming star that was the, the one of the highest draft picks in the NFL history, now on the team, and he, I think he could be a hell of a player. Like obviously he went to the Chicago Bears, and I, I know sometimes people think when you get drafted to the NFL, like man, you're on this amazing football team and this mega organization, but sometimes it doesn't work out like that, man. Sometimes organization takes slumps or lows with players and how, how the facilities ran. So it, 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 I, I don't think he ever had the advantage of a, a full football team and be able to be around true leadership. Because when I got drafted, bro, I'm telling you right now, it was Casey Hampton in the locker room, Troy Palomalu, James Harrison, Ben Roethlisberger, Heinz Ward, you know, it was uh, Heath Miller. And then obviously my old line, Matt Stars, Willie Colon, uh, Trey S., uh, uh, Chris Kimiatu. Like, there was so many guys that was already there that, like, helped me and, like, lead the path for me and kind of showed me the way. And then, uh, hell, when I did step outside the line when I thought I could, man, they were dragging me back in. Even though I was pulling away from it sometimes, man, I had about two more dudes pulling on the back trying to drag me back into it. So I don't think he had that. And the simple fact he's with the Steelers organization now, man, you ain't heard not one bad thing. The way he's helping himself, like, even he came out and said it, like, man, mentally I'm different because you start to see it. And I and I and I, and I tested this thing because me and Mike used to argue all the time about man when you have a a, a franchise quarterback there the game's different and I'd be like bro what the f- you talking like I didn't understand it because I got I, every single game I played with Big Ben and then right. the one the one year Big Ben got hurt it was like I called Mike it was probably like the 56 game into it and I and I think Mason's <laughs> a, a, I think Mason's an unbelievable quarterback I think he can win you a lot of football games but man when you have it's a, it's a it factor to players. Mm-hmm. Like man, it, it's something that you can't coach. It's something that you just there's no way that that put that person, another person in that situation that can do it. You know what I mean? And Ben was one of them type players. And then when Mason got in there, hell yeah, he won a lot of football games. He was a seller, but man, football got harder. 
it was like you know, I was blocking for an extra two seconds. You know what I mean? Or like the the, the one the, the one time, and I was like, "There's no way we don't get it. Or we're gonna we're, we're gonna get this play. We didn't get it." I'm like, "How the hell is that pop? Like, why, why? Like, there's no way. You know what I mean? Like, why didn't you see this? Or why didn't that happen? You know what I mean? Like football. If you don't have that 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 person there, like I'm just telling you right now, like, I was going I was in the extra ice tub. But I'm like, man, I gotta stand a bit longer, but they wanted me to practice it on Wednesday. Now you see why now you see why I value those three, those three, those three Pro Bowls that I got with the Dolphins. I value those more than ever. That, that, the Pro Bowl I got with the fucking Chargers with, with Phillip Rivers back there, the easiest one man. of my life. Like, easy <laughs> trade the ball, ball out. Right. Man, when you got when you got when you got A B out there catching shit on the side of his head. And big <laughs> Dan, big, I don't know how big Ben targeted it right there, like a missile and that bit think and that bit stuck like a glove. I'm like, yeah, no one else making that play. Yeah, right. no. <laughs> hey, yeah, that's yeah. what I'm saying. I, I tell Smitty every day, I said this is the lowest. The, this is as a collective unit. This is the worst oh. I've ever seen quarterback position being played in the NFL. I, I'm just saying it's because we we don't have those guys no more. They're they're, tra they're moving around like crazy. Look, I mean, just look at it. It, it. We got rid of Justin Fields for a Chico stick and a piece of string cheese, dog. It's like crazy. they didn't get nothing for him. They got rid of your boy Mason Rudolph. They got rid of uh your boy uh what's his name from Cincinnati uh Ritter. Uh, yeah, they got yeah, rid of one year, one year in Atlanta. They got rid of Atlanta. Yeah. Atlanta, yeah, 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 Atlanta, yeah. Oh, man. That was dumb. This is just uh, this is the quarterback. I, I just like. I, I mean, right now, but the league Zach, is like Zach a win now. League. Zach Wilson, Zach Wilson, what, what, the second, second or third pick or something? Yeah. Pick, with the yeah. That 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 class alone has yeah. there's nobody like that. Nobody in it left. Now, I will like, say we got a couple Jones, studs though. We got we got Mahomes, uh, Justin Herbert. We still yep. got them type of guys that man we're looking at like man y'all y'all have to y'all have to be the next ones to carry the NFL. Yeah, yeah. I, I, man, I can't leave out my boy. Jordan Love, Jordan Love, Jordan Love, Jordan Love surprised me this year. He, he All right, hey, real quick, I know I know I gotta go. You just brought up Lamar Jackson. Yes, yeah, please Lamar tell me Jackson. how we argue about Lamar every damn week. How you feel about Lamar Jackson? Keep it real. One of the Top best five in the quarterback league. NFL. Top five. Because he's not, he's brudge. Lamar, everyone always talk about, oh, he gets hurt running. Lamar's never got hurt running the ball. He got hurt standing in the pocket, just like every other quarterback. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's part of it. Like, it doesn't, that's, that's what makes it. Man, we played special, them right? twice a year, and that's our division. I'm telling you, we played a lot of teams. And when, man, I'm telling you, when Coach Tomlin's up there talking about quarterbacks, Lamar Jackson was one of them dudes we had to scheme for the whole entire yeah, yeah. game. The whole Ooh, practice. Quarterback, man, get, get out, get out to the, man, let, tell the wrestlers, get out them. Yeah, you're gonna like Lamar Jackson. I don't care. You get out there, you gotta do everything. Chase them, grab them. They gotta game tackle them because he ain't coming out easily. Now, JB, hey. hold on. I know you don't like listen to me. I know I didn't play in the league. I played at Kyle. I know I, I know I'm young, I'm 30 <laughs> years old, but these are two legends right here. Florida boys played in the league, played against Lamar. You heard what they just said. What's your reaction, JB? Scared. I didn't hear either one of these motherfuckers talk about <laughs> I didn't hear I didn't hear one of them talking about they was worried about him throwing the ball on us. I didn't yeah, hear but, one of them. But, By the way, the he gets hurt. A, he gets hurt running. He gets hurt in the pocket because he's been running the whole motherfucking game. Let's keep it funky. Let's keep it real. I, I love Lamar. I like that. I'm just saying, I like you, that, baby. you got to stick with your argument, baby. Don't change. Don't change. But listen, I, I can't change. To win the I MVP and have the many, many passing yards and rushing yards, like yeah, he's yeah. he's 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 a unicorn. So if we're gonna put him oh, as yeah. anywhere in the NFL. I, put I, him as a unicorn. Don't put him with Tom I, Brady and Aaron Rodgers. You know, and damn, I my boy, my boy, my boy, he's still playing. Yeah. Hey, my boy, coached him in college, and listen, I. This motherfucker is like, dog, this guy is the greatest kid, greatest character. I've never, I've never said anything bad about the kid. I just don't think he'll win a Super Bowl because he's going to miss something that's open instead of use his feet. And then later, I don't know how sustainable it is. I know he wins during the year, and I and that trend Trent Dilfer won a Super Bowl. I, hey, that's my point, though. I'm like, dog, <laughs> just, I, I, I've, I've used that reference, by the way. Don't I've used that reference. Hey, I'm, I'm telling you, hey, but guess what? He gunned that motherfucker to Shannon Sharp. He went 99. Man, Lamar it, it, take, it takes more. Listen, defense wins championships. That defense step up yeah. for Lamar, I guarantee he's going to make enough plays. And listen, no they would have. Zay Flowers Zay fumbles. Flowers, man. He Zay fumbled Flowers the ball. fumbles. Zay Flowers penalty. Killed the game, yeah. bro. It wasn't Lamar man, that Jackson, fumbled. bro. That was the game. They it wasn't, it wasn't the Lamar ball, Jackson, bro. It's like the, hey. it's like the Pelsey hey, twins on, watch this show. Allen, too, Mike, with Buffalo. I oh, say this Alex. every time. Yeah. I, the Zay, it's like JB forgets Zay Flowers. And I love Zay. Young guy. Yeah, he's he's great. Gonna be a great player. Awesome. He great fumbled player. right across the and he make, they're tied, It's a tied game. Yeah. He they, win the, they win the game. Yeah. Lamar wins that game if you don't do that. And then plus the penalty. You get the penalty personal. It kills the it kills the energy. It kills everything, Ooh. bro. Like, 
Oh, yeah. Lamar, they, they just need to keep building to that defense. They got enough for Lamar, I can promise you. Can y'all please come hey, on uh, once a week, man? Can y'all can y'all meet up and talk? I need y'all <laughs> hey, on once a week. We have contract talk with Coach Fred, bro. Coach, I yeah. don't let Coach Fred hear this once a week. He's going to kill us, dog. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got I to gotta hit up Fred right now. I'm going to hit up Fred right now and be like, hey, dog, who got the bigger show? Let's get it cracking. Let's get it cracking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, hey, well, hey, man, I, I can't thank you guys. I, I can't thank you guys enough. Uh, we got we to gotta have you on again. Hey. Hey, uh, 100%. You, you going to the voting thing? You know, you know, you voting for who you voting for? Which white man? You know, for bro, we secret service, you know we baby. We, we, we fired all secret service. We got our own boys from Polk County to take over Big Trump, baby. Yeah, we We got a silent Woo! contract with him. We Listen, do, Trump we can hire him. Y'all watch baby, Yellowstone? Have y'all watched Yellowstone? Have y'all watched Yellowstone? I'm familiar with the show. I'm familiar with the show. Bro, you got to watch Yellowstone because, listen, me and Keith to be livestock agents for Trump. They need to be livestock agents. We'll take over. Yeah, yeah, real talk, man. Hey, trust me, man. Listen, Trump, Trump, big Trump need us, baby. That just shows us keep America great, baby. And yeah. keep it tropical with that Twin P whiskey. That's for sure. <laughs> All right, Polk County, Polk County. Hey, man, we got we to get you on more, man. We got to get you on during the season, especially if we for can. Sure. We can, we can just tell let you us first. Know. We can still you for a 20 minute segment during the year, break down some football, break down because I got DB Sport, I got all the NFL games every week, and we'll be in the studio like that we got. We got a studio and and uh and, and we'll try to get you out of here one day too, man. Come come yeah, uh, we'll do that. Hell yeah. We'll hell yeah. Sure. Like I said, you got all worried now, coach. We on. Appreciate it. Hey, much love, brother. Man. I appreciate right, you. Love, Hey, Smith, you guys. Ain't no more Ohio, Ohio talk, baby. It's all Florida, man. You know how we yeah. do Indiana, I'm Indiana, Indianapolis, 317. <laughs> oh, hey, State, hey, baby. That's where, hey, that's where I'm on from. That's where I'm on from. That we, that, that, I knew we had a connection with you. We <laughs> yeah, what you say, Indiana? Indiana. Yeah, Indiana, yeah. Oh, that's Indiana crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, 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 that's all white side from up there, baby. You know how I mean, it is. We, oh, we might be cousins. Okay. Yeah, hold on. I said that's our white side up there. Our white side. Our mama white. That's the white yeah. side. That's my mama side up there now. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, we're crying, fam. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, right, right before you leave, though, peep this out. <laughs> Man, that, that, talking, hey, yeah, that one I'm talking about right Hey, we're man. We're going to send you the address. We need that. Yeah, we, we actually Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Show me address. I'm going to send you some, you some of our Trump hats, too. We got some yeah, I'm going to send you some cigars, too. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Absolutely, no doubt. absolutely. Much love, right. boys. Y'all had great show, man. Y'all did an awesome job. Appreciate right, it. Appreciate that job. Man, uh, love, clap it up. Hey, we go right in. We, we right, late right back. I got 12 minutes, JB. Let's make it great. We late with our main man, Steve Kim. Steve, we Steve apologize Kim. for being late, man. We had we had a special interview, but we appreciate your patience, Steve. Man, hey, how Steve. are you doing? You look amazing, Steve. How you you know what? Let me just say something. I was not happy waiting behind a pair of gators. But the hey, last five minutes, was those happy. last five, you know what? Those are fine young men. <laughs> they are great patriots. God bless them. And God bless the USA. Pouncey. <laughs> You're okay. 